Episode 8, The Quest for Balance and the Groundwater System. In the battle to manage our groundwater and achieve balance, we have engineered and built the most innovative systems and engaged in proven and community-oriented management practices. Remember, through the Arizona Water Banking Authority and other groundwater recharge projects, we've banked over 4 million acre-feet of Colorado River water in the ground to be stored in our water bank account for a not-so-rainy day. Across our farmlands, we're using multiple ways to save water, like laser leveling and low-water use sprinkler systems to grow our food and fiber crops, getting more done using less water. In our industrial facilities, we're recycling water on site, allowing it to be used multiple times. In our cities, we are using the latest technology to measure and monitor water usage to make database decisions. That's not to say that there isn't still room for improvement. These sectors are continuing to look for additional ways to be even more efficient. We are also investing in reclaimed water initiatives. Reclaimed water is water that has been cleaned at wastewater treatment plants so that it can be reused. We have the technology to treat our water so that it's safe for drinking. Think about how an astronaut would have to recycle water for drinking. We can even treat water to ultra-pure levels for use in semiconductor and microchip manufacturing. This water is too pure to drink. It would actually remove minerals from our bodies. The purple pipes you see in some cities carry reclaimed water to parks, school grounds, and other places for irrigation. Released in rivers, this water creates habitats that sustain plants and animals. Plants actually benefit from the natural nutrients left in reclaimed water. Five Phoenix Valley cities are providing reclaimed water to the Palo Verde nuclear power plant for use in the cooling towers. Because of its desert location, Palo Verde is the only nuclear power plant in the world that uses reclaimed water, which is pretty significant since summertime use in the cooling towers is up to 60,000 gallons per minute. Desalination is a form of treatment where salt content is removed to make water suitable for use. Future innovation could make this a safe solution and add to our water management toolbox. That's not all. Because our whole water supply, groundwater, and surface water is connected, we are also collaborating with California and Nevada to voluntarily cut water use to stop Lake Mead from dropping to critically low levels. Water levels in Lake Mead control shortage declarations on the Colorado River system for these states. In spite of all this forward thinking, the first alarm has sounded, and the first shortage declaration ever was made on January 1st, 2022. As you can see, it will take continued vigilance, collaboration, innovation, and investment to ensure that Arizona continues to thrive. And we, as members of the Arizona community, need to be smart, value our aquifers, and make choices that save water. So, what exactly can we do? Watch episode 9 to see what you can do to be a better water user.